can't believe I can taste the jalapeno and most importantly, I can taste the cream cheese and the sausage. I don't really notice the other spices, but it is a great snack, especially for me being a diabetic. Welcome back to my kitchen, Facebook friends and families. You might want to know what I'm going to do with all of these jalapeno peppers. And these are just a few of the peppers that are in the half bushel baskets. I gathered a full bushel of different varieties of peppers. But I think it's time to take some of these, cut them in half, and stuff them with cream cheese and sausage. And I am going to, as always, put the recipe at the end of the video. It'll have enough playtime that you can stop the video, do a screen save, and keep the recipe. I hope you enjoy our video, and as always, please share it with your friends and family, especially those people that are diabetic like I am, because this is really a low-carb snack to have. All right, I'm going to get started now. Okay, here we have our ingredients. We're going to use one pound of sausage. We're going to chop up finely two green onions. I just picked these off of my deck in the pot. These are bunching onions. We're going to use about a half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to use a teaspoon of garlic powder. I will be using some cracked black pepper to taste. We have two bricks of cream cheese uh, for a total of 12 ounces. And of course I have my jalapenos soaking in water. I'm getting ready to cut those in half and take the seeds out. Now remember when you do that, be very, very careful. A lot of people will wear gloves. I'm used to being around jalapenos. Watch me say that and I'll burn my hands, but <laughs> I normally can handle them without a lot of issues. All right, I've got my pan here. I'm gonna turn it on the eye. I'm gonna turn it on medium high. And let's put our sausage in there. We want to brown our sausage before we start cutting our peppers. I want to have everything ready so that we can just stuff them. Be nice if I had my own hogs and could make my own sausage, but I at least grow what vegetables I can grow in the garden. I enjoy that. All right, let's get this stuff started. I'm just tearing apart my sausage here now. I need it to be just lots of little chunks to add into my filling for my jalapenos. Okay, my sausage is cooked. I'm just leaving it here. I've taken it off of the warm eye, letting it sit here and cool. I've chopped it into very small pieces, which is exactly what we're going to need for filling. Now it's time to put our cream cheese in our pan. I'll scrape all of that goodness out of there. Kind of mash it up. It's good and soft, just as it should be. Okay. To this now, we're going to add our two green onions. I'm going to add my two cups of cheddar, my garlic powder, my salt, I'm going to crack some fresh black pepper in here. I'm going to put about half of my sausage in here. Well, a little more than half. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the electric mixer and I'm going to mix this up. All right, here's my mixture after I've used the electric mixer on it. I have cleaned and halved my peppers. So my next step is to oil this pan. 
And as you can see, as always, I covered my pan in aluminum foil. I don't like cleaning up a mess. I'm gonna take a little piece of paper towel and take this oil and just rub it all over this pan. I, I just want to make it so that the peppers don't stick to my pan. All right. And I'm gonna need a bit, a large serving spoon. Spoon this stuff out and pack it in there the best I can. And as I said earlier, be very careful with your hands when you're handling jalapenos. Now, I removed the seeds so they should not be as hot. And this should make a very good little snack. We like them as an hors d'oeuvre before dinner. I simply took the mix, which I had a lot left, and I'll save that and do another batch with it tomorrow. And I went ahead and smoothed into each half of the jalapeno some of that mix. I took that reserved about one-third of the sausage, and I've poked that down in there. Should give them a very good meaty taste. Now I've got to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes till they start getting bubbly. This is what my stuffed peppers look like when they come out of the oven. Now I'm gonna sit down here and taste these things for you guys. Okay, it's time for me to taste these and let you know what I think about them. Of course, I know I love these things anyway. That's really, really good. I can't believe I can taste the jalapeno and most importantly, I can taste the cream cheese and the sausage. I don't really notice the other spices, but it is a great snack, especially for me being a diabetic. Yes, I know it's not low fat by any means with all that cream cheese and that sausage. But when I'm eating, I know not to try to eat too many at one time simply because it is a lot of fat. But it's great to be able to have a snack and not see my glucose levels go straight through the sky. Mmm. I know you're not going to sit here and watch me eat all of these. They're just wonderful. I want to thank each and every one of you that that follow my channel, those of you that are subscribed and those that just watch the videos, even though you don't want to be subscribed, that's not an issue with me. I just appreciate each one of you. I do hope that you'll share my videos uh, on your social media and other sites. That's how my channel grows. And again, I do hope you guys have a wonderful, and I do mean wonderful and blessed life.